Hello everybody, this is Ming Chen from AMC's Comic Book Men, and you're listening to Jesse and Elaine on Bring Me Your Torch. Welcome to the episode of Bring Me Your Torch, I'm Jesse. And I'm Elaine. And Elaine, did you have a wonderful 4th of July? I did, and there's this brand new show called is, Dr. Pimp. This has nothing to do with anything, but you want to talk about this show before we get into anything. Go ahead. I've never heard of this before. <laughs> it's called Dr. Pimple Popper, and I think it's on – is it on E? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard I of this know. nonsense. Maybe it's it's on one of the – oh, you know what? No, it's probably on TLC. That's probably the <laughs> sick and twisted network that picked it up. Well, you're but. learning about – Popping pimples, I guess. I don't know. Have you ever seen those videos on YouTube? No, I don't watch those things because I find them disturbing to watch. <laughs> okay, well, there's people out there that apparently think it's intriguing to see a pimple being popped. Are, are you trying out for that reality show too? Is that what's happening? Well, I don't. Maybe I don't know. Maybe. I don't think my pimples are that big. You never know. You know, one one time you're gonna wake up though, you're like, oh, this. You know what? This is perfect for. This is perfect for popping the pimp. And then you, you call them up, and then you're Dr. Good to go. Pimple Popper. So well. I, I would lie and say that I'm going to watch that show, but I'm not going to. But you can report <laughs> we back. And, cover it. So what happened on this episode? I don't know. They popped some pimples. Oh, what happened? <laughs> what's, what's the preview for next episode? I don't know. They popped more pimples. Um, <laughs> it's going to last one season for good reason. You know, you know, I didn't do much on my 4th of July, although the weekend before, I had a early 4th of July party on Saturday. And then I had a gender reveal party for my friend Doodle Banks on Sunday. I thought you were going to say a gender Tender transformation. What are you talking about? And, and it's like been hot as Hades up here in Connecticut lately. So. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. What's the temperature? Yeah. Yeah, it's been like a little over 100 with the humidity adding more. It's, Ugh. Uh, yeah, it's been it's you know, brutal. Just, don't want to be outside. It's a problem. Like I, I spent my actual 4th of July just inside uh, with the air conditioning pumped up as high as you can go. <laughs> but I, so I, like in the wintertime, which is like eight months out of the year, it's freezing. You can't go outside. Well, right? And then if, if you follow the a calendar, time, winter is actually three months of the year with the other, you know, nine months being three other seasons. Okay. So spring's just 30 degrees and you have to stay inside. Now that yeah. makes sense. Oh yeah. Why, why don't you go down to Austin where your uh, Wi-Fi never works? Cause uh, I hear Austin's biggest. <laughs> My friends went to Houston uh, yesterday they flew down there, and apparently there was like some giant rainstorm. They're like we almost got diverted into, into Austin. I'm like, oh crap! If you stuck around Ron and Elaine, God knows what will happen. <laughs> yeah, so, at least I can go outside though. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you know, anyways, enough with your uh, Texas nonsense. I uh, <laughs> I finally went and saw Jurassic Park last Friday. Finally, geez. Well, my mom got me. You know, for some reason, my mom's like, "Oh, I want to go see this with you." I'm like, "Why?" But like, whatever. I mean, <laughs> I don't like spending time with my mother at all. But so I had to hold off because she was on vacation with my dad. So they finally came back. I played golf with my dad and a few other people on Friday during the day. I took the day off from work, and then I saw the movie. And I have a bunch of problems. I don't want to talk about them with you, Elena. You've seen this movie. Um, I have. Yeah, and and I'm sorry if you haven't seen this movie. Then you should probably fast forward like three minutes. It won't be that long. But I have some spoilers to talk about. Right here we go. First of all. You know, the original movies had a character, John Hammond, who's an old dude who like, created everything. In this movie, it's like, yeah. hey, guess what? There was this other old dude, too, that you never knew about, that I was friends with him. And Because uh, the other guy died, died in real life, right? Yes, or did yes. he just... No, he died in real life. Yeah, like a couple years ago. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, oh, here's another guy playing a British dude. By the way, that guy is not British. Uh, I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but he's a you know, well-known yeah. character actor. Um, two, when they're like, hey, we're going to go to this island and try to save things uh, before it blows up. Hey, that sounds like a really good idea. Did, did it surprise anybody when it all went to hell? No. How do they not know well, what's going to happen? Well, that's the whole plot. But it's, it's if, a movie. If I was uh, Opie's daughter there, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard, I would be like, I'm not going back to the island because there are things that are trying to eat you. Uh, but they, they love these dinosaurs. They're for some trying reason. to preserve the dinosaurs. And and then the the old man's granddaughter is really a clone that kind of just came out of nowhere. I was like, what? What's, what's the? But yeah, all, I didn't understand yeah. that. Story I thought either. I thought she was going to end up being like, even though I guess it wouldn't have worked out with the grandparents, going to be the daughter of Lex from the first one somehow. But but here's That's my main exactly problem. Exactly who I thought it would be. Yeah. Here's my main problem with this entire movie. At the end, this cloned little freak granddaughter opens up and lets all the dinosaurs just run out into the wild. So guess what? When like these, like, oh, hey, the raptor's a good guy now. It's still going to eat a dude when it's hungry. So when all these dinosaurs just start eating and killing people, they're all going to be, it's all going to be their fault. How is this a good idea? Well, my- After the credits, they show the pterodactyls landing on top of like, the Eiffel Tower, the fake Eiffel Tower in Vegas. I'm like, oh, great. All those people just looking to gamble and have a nice vacation are going to be eaten now. It's horrible. 
It's a great movie, but I will say the government would have squashed this in two seconds. The moment that these dinosaurs got out, yeah. they would have had tranquilizers and they'd be hunting down every single last dinosaur. So I don't see how there's going to be another film. Oh, oh but the, the blue is good now. The raptor is good, except for when it eats random people. You know, I don't know how I feel about all of this. It just kind of bothers me. And and Jeff Goldblum, okay. who's in it for like two minutes. Yeah. But here's what I will say. When Jeff Goldblum is speaking, he's a speaking before a Senate committee. And that's the best depiction of a you – know, I used to work in the Senate. It was the best depiction of a Senate committee room I've seen in any movie. I think they actually filmed wow. it in the Berkson building. So uh, major props there. That's awesome. But on to some of the show's – First Big Brother came back. It's been a full week. I'm actually watching it right now while we're doing this podcast in the background. So oh, I can yeah. See Is it a live home. eviction tonight? Yeah. Someone went home already and someone won. Do you want really? To, do you want to know what happened? Yeah. Well, by the time people listen to this, they should already yeah. know. If they well, don't, then Google it. So the two people that were evicted were – I mean the two people that were nominated were Steve, the undercover cop who's pretending that he's a that he's a mechanic or something. Or I'm going to be pissed cops. if Steve goes home. And, and then, goes and home. then uh, the other person was Sam, Sam, who is a welder slash robot. And you know, first of all, this kind of annoyed me that they gave these penalties, one to Sam – um, went to Casey. Sam had to be a robot half the time, so she was never around talking to me. I'm an effing robot, man. And then then Casey had this like uniform she weared and then had like, a little thing that spun on it. And whenever it started spinning, yeah. she had to sit there. For, for week one, it just doesn't seem fair to me that they get these kind of hardcore penalties. What do you think? It seems like you're annoyed with a lot of things tonight. Well, I but... re- well chiefly with you. But <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, I actually <laughs> no, really no, like the I... season. You, I, I like all the twists they have so far and the whole digital experience yeah. that we're supposed to be you like seeing. The apps? Yeah, they're cool. Um, but I will say for the first week as being a very social game, yeah, Sam was at a very big disadvantage. And I think American people definitely felt sorry for yeah, her. And that's why and she was the most tre- – well, maybe she was the most trending because she was a robot and people yeah, thought yeah. that was funny. I, I, so so anyway, so I, I, I turned on – the show when I got home from trivia tonight uh, before this podcast started, and it was just at the beginning of the eviction. So, right. here so we, are you going to tell me? Yep, evicted tonight oh, by a vote Steve, by, by a vote of seven to six. Steve. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Ugh. You know, you know, I it's weird. I Ugh. going into I've been following some of this stuff. I thought Sam was going to go home. Uh, Sam should have gone home, but Caitlin. Uh, she flipped at the last minute for some reason. I didn't see the first half an hour leading up to it, so I'm sure it explained uh, why during that. We'll watch that afterwards. And then Caitlin actually I wish won. Sam would have went home. Then Caitlin won um, head of household afterwards. Wait, must have been wow. her spirit. Must have been her spirit. Wait, which one's Caitlin her. again? She's the one who's like likes yoga. Caitlin's and... the one that looks like Nicole Richie, right? Yes. Yeah. I, that's actually pretty good. I I was wondering. She looked like somebody, but she looks like a weirder version of Nicole Richie, if that is possible. She looks like a heavier version of Nicole Richie. I don't know if it's heavier, but. Uh... When I say heavier, I mean just has maybe five extra pounds on it. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Uh, here's um, <laughs> well, you know, there's there's some scandals that have already happened the last week. But quickly before we get to those, so who do you have for favorite? I, no, I, th- I think we picked Steve being the first one home, but he was an easy target. Uh, do you have any favorites so far, people you don't My like? My favorite was Steve. Really? I love Steve. I like Steve. I, but, sorry, I, I really liked Sam. I thought she was sweet. Um, it was tur- she is she's still yeah. in the game. Well, you know, she. It, the only thing that turned me off a bit is that she's a smoker, and I'm sorry to our smoker listeners, but oh, know, it's is just, she? It's just like eh, you know, not as because you know, I, yeah, I, I found her to be just kind of adorable. I do like Scotty too. He's kind of got this nerd thing going. I, yeah, I mean, but does he know? I like in that first. Yeah, <laughs> I like in that first episode when they're all trying to kiss him, and he's like running away. It's like, dude, just take it. That was cute. Yeah, you, know, you just kind of like, oh no, I've never kissed anybody. Then you get kisses. I mean, just, come on, it's. So you know, I don't like. Yeah. I don't like the Nicole Richie, the new H O H. Caitlin. And I don't Caitlin, and I don't like Tyler. Actually, I think he look he has crazy eyes, and he's playing <laughs> the game way too hard. He is crazy. I don't like the bros. I don't like Winston, and I think Brett is the other one. Um, I don't like, yeah, but they embrace it, you know, but yeah. I feel like Tyler's trying to try to play too hard and be somebody he's not and play both sides of the house. I think he's going to be found like out this very man, like, like I'm a surfer dude and, you know, which is fine, but I'm at Hilton he's head, kind of fake. And, uh, yeah, a lifeguard and <laughs> so anyways, on, fake. on to some of the scandals. So, you know, JC, the little guy, mm-hmm. apparently he was running around. I, I saw this on TMZ. I didn't watch it on the live streaming. Apparently, he was running around mm-hmm. with an ice cream scoop trying to scoop vaginas or something. 
Oh, was he the one that was like for sexual harassment? Yeah, apparently, like, I, I, the girl's like, ah, ha, ha, stop. And I can't tell if they were really didn't like it or what was going on. But you know, it's probably with knowing these people for like you know five to seven days. Even you know, even if you're JC a little, yeah. little gay, you know, I think maybe because like, you know, if he's gay, maybe it's not sexual, so maybe the girls wouldn't mind. So sort of thing type thing. I think but, it's hilarious, and I'd probably be laughing my butt off. If if you, he's there. a little little dude running around trying to scoop out your vagina. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, it would be hilarious. Let's be serious. <laughs> God, I don't remember that for later. Um, and then also Angela and Rachel. Um, they yeah, had some, yeah. some racial things like, uh, you know, they're in the sun tanning and like, oh, you know, we're getting too dark. My skin's looking a little ghetto and things like that. You, you, know, you can't say that. It's, it's amazing that, you know, I mean, it may be just a little th- throwaway comment, but it tells you a lot about somebody to even make that comment when you know yeah. like millions of people are watching you 24 seven, you know, what, what, what makes you wonder what are they saying when people aren't around? Yeah, and it is a little bit weird like th- to even be thinking like that. I mean, yeah, I, I want to be dark. I want to be dark as possible. I love it. But yeah, I would never associate my skin color with being ghetto. I don't that no. ghetto is more that's not even a yeah, it's, it's not just, something you associate yeah. skin with. I don't well, it it's, doesn't it's, really make compute. In high school there's this kid um, Mike, who I, I was friends with them, but I wasn't close friends with them. But apparently, he was on the high school uh, tennis team, and he was sitting there, and he go in there. It was just a summer before school started. They have like some some early uh, practices, and he goes, "It my, I'm gonna be so dark by the end of this season. I'm gonna be like the ace of spades." So we just we just started calling him spades for the rest of the year, and he hated it. But uh, you know, it's a question that's neither here nor there. But you know, he said it in a way that was non racially motivated so maybe these women could do the same thing yeah um, definitely so i don't you know it's don't, always the like the white girls too that start spouting off Aaron about a few years things. ago Aaron yeah. with an a although they've all been spoken to by cbs Aaron with an a a a r y n it's like arian ha ha because she was making the racial comments um <laughs> I think she got married. Uh, I wish CBS didn't speak to them and didn't warn them because. What do you mean CBS was speaking to like, them? Like you know how like how or not CBS but like Big Brother you know Alison Grodner the producer yeah you know when when he goes to fishes it basically I think or either when they went to fishes or when they pulled them into the diary room they basically like lectured them like not to do that stuff anymore. And. What did they say to it? Did did you? Did I think it's it fine. Say? I think it's fine. Um, and you know obviously I understand because because JC's thing was like proactive he was doing stuff but. I would prefer them not say anything when people are saying crazy stuff because you want to see how crazy it's going to get. Because I don't, well, I don't agree with it. I mean, that's it shows you who these people really are. Now they're going to be watching what they say and hiding things, and you know, I want to yeah. go up the good, the good, the the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know. Well, what if they start, you know, making really racially derogatory comments? Does do you think CBS has? an obligation to take them off air or to remove them from the show? No, I, I say leave them in and make it a teaching moment. Like Julie Chen can chastise them and we can say, you know, this, yeah, is, how pe- this is how people are. Point. This is how people are in the world and the country and it's wrong. And this is why. And you know, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. So, good point. And what do you think about Fessy having to eat all that ham or that pseudo ham, that, that veggie That's- ham? What is it? What is veggie ham? Is well, it like, like plastic or like? I don't know. I, I remember Jesus. years and years ago. It was like when when these like meatless items started becoming a big thing. It was like chicken nuggets with no chicken. I'm like, well, then what the hell is it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, my sister in law is very green and likes eating like veggie burgers and stuff. But I, I don't want to touch any of that. I just, it's, I'm sure it tastes just fine, but it freaks me out knowing that it it looks like something, but it's not that. <laughs> it's weird. if it was me, I would pretend like I was being so sick and that I was on the toilet throwing up, pooping all the time, just so I wouldn't have to eat it. Because eventually they're gonna stop sending you as many boxes if they see you're gonna you're gonna get sick every single time you, mean you like, eat it. What do you so, think? So in the future, like, hey, I'm trying to get a job, and they Google your name. Contestant poops all over the place. The entire- Guys poop it exactly. everywhere. That's that's what you want to see. Fessy, I think, is pretty boring. Open. I'm not a fan. Um, well, yeah, that's why he's least trending. Yeah, exactly. I was not surprised at that. Sorry, Fessy, your face or whatever. You know, they call him Fessy, but yeah. Um, I, it's going to take a couple more weeks to really understand the power structure. I mean, Swaggy C thinks he's like got it going, and he was pretty – Pretty shocked by the result of the show today. He's he and Bailey both. I think their mouths were like wide open, like oh my god, we did not expect that. So uh, you think he'll be out soon? I don't know because he's. I think he's seen as like whether it's true or not is the leader of that side of the house. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But but I think 
I think Caitlin is in his alliance, so I think they're okay. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll, we'll get there later on. Well, I don't know what Fessy's little comment to Tyler was when they were playing the, um, not the HOH, but what was it when they were doing the um, immunity? Yeah, the v- uh, immunity or veto. The v- so the veto. They were yeah. doing the veto, and like Fessy goes, yeah, the half of the house, our side of the house, you know, thinks that you're not with us, so you need to come and like step it up. He started like essentially threatening him. I was well, like, to be, what to are be you fair, doing? Tyler is telling him they're aligned when he's really not. So, <laughs> you know, uh, of right, of course. But if you're trying to have Tyler throw it to you, you don't start threatening him. Yeah. No. Well. So we'll, we, yeah, you know, this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you know, we were a weekend. We'll see exactly where <laughs> it goes. We have another, uh, you know, what is it, like 10 weeks left or 12 weeks left of this show. So I tell you, this is my favorite reality show now. It's, it has been for a while. It, now you mean forever? Um, no, I mean, I used to, be, it used to be tough between that and the challenge, but I like that it, you know, it switches up in Big Brother and I like the 24 hours aspect of it. I like watching the live feeds and then watching the show and knowing, like, the live the show is BS. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff that happened behind the scenes that they just didn't. Oh yeah. Out. So <sighs> we also saw last week the finale of the season finale of Jersey Shore, and it was a pretty quiet episode. I mean, they had some yeah. fights between Situation and Ronnie, but that's like that was taken care of, and then it was just kind of like packing up. And I mean, the first half of it was like it was basically it's like the episode towards the end of Big Brother where they just sit back and have dinner and think about everybody who left. It's like, oh hey, remember that funny thing that this happened at this annoying. club? And it's a club. I'm like, no, I, I watched the show. I don't need a clip yeah. show. I, same thing with Survivor. I don't oh, need I did these. not watch that. No, I fast forwarded through those things. Um, but uh, you know, the big news coming out of Jersey Shore is one Dina is now pregnant. Apparently she was pregnant yeah, during the filming of the second her. season, so I hope she wasn't drinking too much. Um, a new meatballs coming, and then apparently Ronnie uh, leaves the cause the next season. They're back at uh, you know Seaside Heights, right? As I was oh, called yeah. in, in Jersey. I they were in Vegas. Uh, maybe they, I had heard that too. Maybe it's a third season. I don't know, but I, I heard they were in Seaside Heights, and maybe they, maybe oh, no, we we heard they were in Vegas. Maybe they go there for their vacation. I bet that makes sense. Um, anyways, he leaves. Because it's while all this crazy stuff was going down with his baby mama, you know, and yeah. she's hitting him and stuff. So apparently when he leaves for a few weeks or however long, they bring Angelina back in. And then he, oh, he does wow. he does show up back at the end of the season. So it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out because a lot of that stuff was going on during the filming of the second season but wasn't shown, obviously, in the first season. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know if Ronnie's long for the show i mean so what if like ronnie he gets in the legal trouble situation goes to jail i mean then the show's over because then you have like half the cast not pretty coming much back. yeah and then dina yeah like dina you said, has you pregnant baby. and then uh you know sammy is not coming back well maybe she oh, would she'll... come back maybe she would come back if ronnie wasn't on it if ronnie wasn't there look calm down all right and then you have you angelina as a full-time so you know we'll see what happens but um this isn't a negative thing but i think the season kind of ended on a whimper because they kind of you know, shot swad with the situation's uh, in, uh, engagement. They should have ended with that. Yeah, I think so too. And then they could have had the last like 15 minutes of them. All right, time to go home. Cause yeah, exactly. So, you know, we'll see, but we'll see when it comes back. I think August is the date they're looking at uh, for its return. But oh, nice. uh, that's pretty yeah, soon. Yeah, but don't worry because next Thursday at the time that the show used to be on, we're going to have uh, Flora Bama Shore, I believe. Woo-woo. I, I, I cannot it's wait. Um, it's definitely next week, and don't hold me to it. But I believe it's yeah. I think it'll be good to have that back. Um, there was another show coming back too, which of course I can't. It wasn't Doctor Pimple Popper or whatever the hell the show you're talking <laughs> about. There's another show coming back, but of course I just can't think you of off the top of my head. Um, but you know, you gotta you gotta have these shows come in because we. I always get nervous when we lose shows to talk about, but then of course there's always another reality show, another episode of Below Deck or whatever. Um, speaking of, but did you notice there was no Below Deck this week? Yeah, what was, of, it was it? Be- I mean, the day, it was the day. July. It was the day before Fourth of July. You think it would be on, but I guess yeah. there's a reason not to. I don't know. Um, by the way, it's okay because that night, instead of watching that, I watched Jaws. Uh, that's a movie I love awesome. to watch. I watched Jaws with you last time I was in Austin. Actually, it's one of my favorite. Yeah, movies. we love that. I watched I love- Indiana Jones: Temple of Doom last night. Oh, see, that's that's my least favorite of the, of the original trilogy. What? 
Um, I like Raiders, then Last Crusade, then Temple. Oh, Mumshida. Oh, Mumshida. <laughs> you pull, pull, out, pull out the heart. You we know, the are heart. going to die. Yeah, we, well, I, though it's funny, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is why I say Indiana Jones is the greatest hero of all time because you know that big dude is trying to kill him, and then he gets like his scarf or whatever caught in like the thing that's going to crush him, and Indiana Jones still tries to save the guy from getting smushed, even him. though he was just trying to kill him because he's a real hero. But uh, so we were both watching um, a Spielberg movie, so that's that's something at least. But uh, but below deck two weeks ago when it actually did air. So I, I think the J- Jow, or whatever the hell the dude's name is, is like a lunatic. Jow. He was getting kind of he had his problems with Hannah. He didn't mean to break the glass. Oh, I certainly think he did. I think about. I think he did it as for effect because he did it right when they were talking about him and he sl- did it. I definitely think he was doing that. Well, cause, I mean, afterwards he fights with Hannah and like basically calls her a slut and makes you know baby Conrad defend her. Baby Conrad. He's, you know, he's still Conrad. in diapers. Hey, he's probably banging it out with a. Uh, oh, by the way, this is a total, you know, non sequitur, but uh, the banging thing reminded me. This may have been meaning to tell you for like two or three weeks. And to our listeners, this may just be old news. But do you what know on the next season of The Challenge that Car Maria and Polly from Big Brother, and he was just on. Um, he was what? just on. Excellent yeah, beats. No, Apparently, they, yeah, they bang yeah. it out. Are you serious? Yeah, How do you find out about that? It was, it was on the you know, People or something. It was on all the, the gossip sites. Because on X and the Beach, Paulie gets together with his ex-girlfriend or whatever, and they're all happy. And then he yeah. goes from that to be on probably the challenge, and then he bangs Car Maria. I don't, it doesn't sound like they're I, together. They just don't seem like a very likely couple. Yeah, it's really interesting. And they, and they don't like, you know, I guess Car Maria isn't with that, doesn't like that Kyle, the British dude anymore. Yeah. So that'll be interesting to watch. The, Paulie's going to be on the challenge. And then, yeah, he gets together. And it's funny that his brother was originally on the show. Then he went on Big Brother. And now he's the one that's getting all these shows and banging Wait, all these reality his, shows. But his brother got second place, was it, or first? Did he... I don't know. I think his brother was Cody. Not not Cody from the last oh, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Cody, Cody from like three or four yeah. seasons ago. Yeah, four seasons ago, I think it was. Did he win? I don't think so. I think. Or did he get. No, he got second with the cop, right? Second to the cop. Uh, Derek. got second. Yeah. yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, it's it's starting to all mash around my brain. I can't remember. All but anyways, coming back. I, yeah. It's all coming back to me to now. I was listening to the meatloaf version of that song the other day. I like it. <laughs> Much more than uh, the Canadian. What's her name? Uh, Celine Dion. Celine Dion. I do like Celine Dion, though. I will admit that. So anyways, that all just came in in the middle of the below deck thing, but it had to do with banging. So, you know. Um, what do you think of these guests who, you know, they requested gumballs. But apparently this guest doesn't like white gumballs, and that's what... <laughs> I will say, I don't like the white gumballs either. They taste like, you know, peppermint or one of these gums. If you want gumballs, you want that fruity flavor or that gum flavor, right? Not not like a a, a breath freshener flavor, yeah, like right? Green. I don't want gumballs yeah. at all. Gumballs... I always yeah, think gumballs, gumballs lose their flavor too quickly. Like, you know, like, give me like, a, like an Orbit or something. If I was on... A boat like this, and I was fancy and had a lot of money. I would ask for one thing at all times on the boat. What's that? It'd be balloons. Balloons. Because they, yeah, because they make me happy. These people are like, oh, the gumballs make me happy. But when I look at balloons, I'm just instantly happy. What if it's a if it's a balloon that's shaped to look like you and mocking you, like a, like a <laughs> they can't a clown be white does balloons. it in no white balloons? What are you racist or something? <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. You know, this episode of it was okay because I just didn't have that much to talk about. Then they find about. this random box of gumballs, which I, I just know. thought was really random, right? Just do you have random gumballs in your in the bottom of the boat somewhere, just hidden in a cabinet? What I don't get it. Hey, you know what? Someone might need gumballs one day, so what this random thing of gumballs? Yeah, but how old gumballs don't last very long? A couple of months of that. Are you certain? I feel like gumballs. I am. They get really hard and. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's your problem with the balls, huh? Let's see, I'm Googling <laughs> gumballs expiration, expiration date. date. Yeah, let's see what Thanks, it says. Google. Let's see. In this okay, this is how long will my gumball are my gumballs good for? This is from gumball.com. <laughs> gumball.com says in in this example, these gumballs were produced on October twenty third, two thousand thirteen. <laughs> the shelf life is for two years, and the gum two expiration years. date is October twenty third, two thousand fifteen. So there you go. Gumballs can last two years. That's straight from gumball dot com. But if you, that's only if you don't open the container. 
send a message to gumball.com, ask them a question, maybe they'll answer. And in two years, your gum are going to be really hard. What's what's the risk of eating expired gum? I'm pretty sure there's no risk to eating expired gum. It's probably just hard. Um, Let's see if someone answered this. I chewed some inspired. (laughs) <laughs> I chewed some expired gum once. There weren't any problems with the safety of it. Pathogens don't seem to grow on the gum. However, I ran into a bit of a quality issue. Okay, blah, blah. So, God, just chew the gum and see what happens. I, I was going to say, I can't believe we're Googling this and there's people actually online talking about it, but we're we're feeding into them I can't online. believe there so are people I can't believe there are people asking questions about this online which we then Google which you yeah. guys are then just listening to us Google uh, while we're on this uh, podcast so I there you go it. Gumball, you listen to Elaine you can Exception. eat them within two years and don't make sure they're not white gumballs all right. Um, good to know. Thanks for that. That's so, like the gist of Below Deck last week. Yeah. But let's go Gumballs. to 98 Fiance. That's so, so kind big, of our bread and butter. Yeah. So big news, 98 Fiance. Uh, there's going to be a live after show what? on July 8th. It's going to be an hour. It's going to be hosted by, I guess, super fan comedian Michelle Collins. I'm not familiar with Michelle Collins, but it's fine. But she's going to be joined by your buddy there, Danielle, and Lauren. Uh, you know, she's the one dating what? the dude from... from uh, from Israel, I forget what his name is. Dating? You mean married? Married, too? yeah, married that too. But you apparently, can't date. apparently the show is going to include fan tweets. So we got, you know, I'm going to go on there and tweet some things. You should message, uh, you know, you should text her, text Danielle, and be like, "How do we get our tweets on the show?" Awesome, I will definitely do it. And then we'll, you know, then we'll like, we'll tr- try to craft like a perfect question. So like, what time's the live show? Like, what time does 90 Day Fiance usually come on? Because I usually um, for me, I believe it's on Eastern, on East, Eastern time. I don't know if the live show airs the same time for you guys, or whatever. It usually is between eight and ten Eastern time, two hours. So okay, I would, so then I would assume it would be at ten o'clock yeah. Eastern time is when it would when it, the live show would air. Anyways, right. so so back to the last show. So I, I actually watched this episode. It's the first episode I watched in a couple of weeks. Um, I want to start with so David funny. and Annie. It's funny. When we first started covering the season, I didn't care for this couple, but now I'm kind of in on them. So <laughs> um, David goes to visit uh, his sister, Nancy, who he hasn't seen in four and a half years. Crazy. And he basically immediately asks her for money, and she just, like, denies – not just denies wow. him. She, like, belittles him. Like, like not, like, in a mean way, but just in a factual way. Like, like why don't you have a job? You know why are you doing all this stuff? I feel bad for this guy. He's no one. He's a loser. And I'm sorry if you're listening to this, uh, David. (laughs) That's so mean. But but why doesn't he have a job? He's like, oh, it's not that easy to get a job. It's like, yes, it is. Go out there and get a job. You don't just marry. I'm sorry. You can't have all these like grand plans with this new wife of yours if you don't have a pot to piss in. And you can only ask your sister for money so many times before she's going to say no. And I think she's right to say no. I think he's more socially awkward than just a loser. He was out of the country for years, and now he's trying to assimilate back into the U.S. culture. Well, I, I love the fact— being married to a, a woman from another culture. I love the fact that you know he and uh, Annie are apparently thinking about having kids— and, when they can't even support themselves. Yeah, yeah and, I know. And forgive us, he's had a vasectomy, and it would cost seven thousand dollars to reverse vasectomy. Why but even would you his ever daughter, have a vasectomy? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, if you're married and you have like a couple of kids, you're like, I don't want to have any other kids. You know, it's wham bam. I guess thank you, ma'am. Sew it on up and take care of it. I don't know. But yeah, the thing is, that. first of all, kids cost money. So on top of that, seven thousand really? dollars. His his daughter Ashley is like, what what the hell is happening here? You know, they get into this big fight, and eventually Annie and Ashley decide to meet up for dinner to talk about themselves. I think it starts off okay, but then Ashley just like straight out asks Annie if she met David at a Thai escort bar, and she's like, oh, I don't think those exist in Thailand. Oh, I'm pretty certain they do. Um, that's the reason why a it's, lot of tourists. Go it's the reason Thailand why people like David go to Thailand, right? Yeah, to find women who are very eager to please. Well, she then she does admit that she and David like went to go see like, these shows where the girls blow ping pong balls out of their snatch or whatever. It's, it's just, sorry, ladies, for using that comment, but uh, I, you know, women You're shoving respectful. women shoving things in their body and then popping out just doesn't do it for me. You know, I, I, in that realm of things, I mean, do you would would you want to go see that with with your husband? Well, of course. I mean, isn't everyone doing that? Uh, it's, it's, I don't want to. I did it. see. So I did see over the weekend. I saw no escape or over the weekend on July 4th when it was pouring down rain in Austin. I did see no escape with Pierce Brosnan and uh, Owen Wilson. And oh, it, it's it a good movie. Place. Yeah, I loved it. It was yeah. pretty intense, though. 
But it did take place, and which I'm still not sure what country exactly it took place in, but in Southeast Asia. Yeah, it's like it's around, you know, it could be like yeah. Philippines, Laos, or it could or, be Laos yeah. or, or it was Vietnam, next to Vietnam or Vietnam. So it was either or Laos, Cambodia or something. Cambodia, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I remember in the beginning, Pierce Brosnan's like, yeah, I love this place. You know, the women are so eager to please. So for this girl to be like, oh, I didn't know they had brothels. Did you, yeah, ever see, did you ever see the movie and it's with um, Greg yeah. Kinnear and at one point Pierce Bronson's sitting there and he's looking at these like you know young Mexican girls who are kind of like making eyes at them he goes I hate these Catholic countries it's all kissy kissy and no sucky f- <laughs> 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 sorry we're at a Pierce Brosnan uh I'm Wait, using bad language today. I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to say that on here. Well, you know, just don't tell anybody, listeners. I, I don't want to beep it out. So, uh, God, you're living on the edge today. All right, I'll go back and beep it out. Let's see when. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble by you know our friends at uh, friends at iTunes or whoever's listening to this. So sorry, guys, for being so crass. So Nicole and Azan, <laughs> Azan, who we mentioned that the wedding was off uh, in our last episode. So. Uh, you know, I, I just understand that Nicole's mom, Rob Lee, who she knows what's up, like her and the stuff, they know what's going on, visits, and you know, she's concerned that these two idiots won't be able to support each other, especially Nicole's stupid lifestyle. Yeah. Um, yeah, and she's she's wondering if Gazan is dating like, all these other people besides her daughter. I, I feel, we've talked about this, I feel bad for her, but she's also letting, you know, she's helping Nicole do this nonsense. You mean the mother? Yeah. Well, I mean, Nicole's now back in the U.S. of what we know. So yeah. I think there's somewhat of a stop on it. There's some... They should cut her off. There's got to be checks and balances. They should just yeah, not give I her think, money. Right. There's. I don't think the money's flowing in anymore. They're back, She's back in the U.S. And I don't think that they can actually legally be together. I don't know. You know, I, I just... If Rob only wants to get money for the daughter who, you know, she shouldn't be harmed by this, but like they should be paying for things for her, not giving Nicole the money to do it because Nicole is not smart enough to be trusted with anything, let alone money. Wait, wait. So what was the story there? They were unsure about getting married, and then Nicole had to leave the country because our visa started to expire? I guess. or just you know, so I, I think you just... only have 90 days if you don't get married. Hmm. And if... I, wh- wh- where did you get that idea from? The, the title no, of the I mean, show? No, no, no. I'm not, not, I'm not in the U.S. I'm talking about in Morocco. No. I think maybe they just pumped the brakes because, you know, we don't know what Azan's deal is with other girlfriends or sending yeah. sex music and, you know, sex Oh, I'm sure he's and... all, all online and it'll probably come out pretty soon. Somebody yeah. will leak it. Uh, but in crazy. fact, in fact, what? we have a crazy... Sorry. Sorry, you guys. There's a crazy person on our Instagram that constantly sends me updates on <laughs> Nicole and Azan. And they're like, yeah, I leaked this photo. They'll send us photos, updates on what's going on with them. And it's gotten to the point where I didn't block this person, but it, it might be getting to that point. Well, I, think I won't you just say upset what this person name. now. So yeah, they, they know I'm sorry. I, I know nothing about this person, so don't take it out on me. <laughs> Here, here's Jesse's address. No, I'm kidding. Ah, uh, there's crazy stuff going on when it comes to Chantel and Pedro. I mean, we know that Chantel's oh. family has been like investigating Pedro, and now Pedro's sister is here. She's like, "Why am I having to sleep on the couch?" Like, your dude, you're visiting. You didn't pay for your ticket. Now you have to sleep on someone's couch because they don't have another bed. Calm down. But uh, the, the crazy thing is that they apparently all think this isn't really Pedro's sister, and that it's like <laughs> some girl he's banging. At one point. She wants to get a hotel room, so Pedro's like, "I'm gonna go sleep with her at the hotel room." And they're like, "What? What's happening here?" And and you know, and Pedro's like a little bitch, and he just like doesn't stand up for his wife at all, and just lets his sister be a complete, you know what? Well, you didn't see. Are you on our Instagram? You don't even look at our Instagram. Do I don't you? know. I don't really. I I don't do Instagram myself, let alone for the podcast. What's what's going on? Okay, so did you see the commercial for next week? Where um, basic? Don't think so. Whatever. Can you can you get on the Instagram right now as we're live on this podcast? And I want you to look right. at this video because well, I can't watch a video we're doing a podcast. It's not. It's like a five second clip where you All see right. what's going on. Basically, where do I Pedro. Look? Oh my god! How old are you? Is this ninety day fiance? No, go to our page. Bring me your torch. Bring me your torch. Okay. Your torch. Right, hold on, let's see. Go to the first one, the first video. Oh, it's like this big fight, like River and him are getting into a fight. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. 
And then he, for good measure, he lifts his foot up and kicks his plant or something on the on the kitchen table and kind of <laughs> runs out. Do you see it? Mm, at the end, yeah, right? Yeah, do you see it? I, mean, I think it's food at the table. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty crazy. They should probably just end this marriage. It's uh, not going to go. Yeah, well. I was going to say, there's no way that they can survive. His sister bride can you know, still get him. They'll find some other mark. Well, you know, they can't be outdone because George and Amphisa, apparently Amphisa is getting messages from George's ex-girlfriend that George has like some 10-year-old daughter that he's just disowned. You think that's true? I don't know. I'm sure we'll find next week, find out next week. But I can't imagine that they'd still be together, though, because she said she wouldn't because her father left her. And I think they're still together. So I don't know if it's, I wouldn't say it's true. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Just a weird show. I mean, like, they definitely and do you not love them. it. How good is this? You know what? I could do with an hour show. I don't think we need a. Well, a, if you have, do, you put it on DVR and then just fast yeah. forward through the stuff you don't like to that's see. Exact, that's exactly what I do. I've, I've started oh. just fast forwarding through Pow and Russ. I like I don't care. So you really don't care about Pow and Russ anymore. No, it's the same old stuff. The last couple episodes have been the same garbage. In my I opinion. think she played up losing the baby because she was like, yeah, I found out I was pregnant and I was a week along and then I had the miscarriage. I mean, yeah, I feel for her for having a miscarriage, but if you're a week long along in your pregnancy, how attached are you to the baby? Well, I'm not going to comment on that one or the other because I've never been pregnant, obviously, and don't know how it feels. So I'm not going to talk to any, but I, but I think she... I think she is playing up crap being home. Bit, yeah, yeah. I think she's a bit of a drama queen. Like you know what? If you don't want to be, leave home, divorce and move back home. Move by. You know he's done. Russ. She is, loves him. Then she should be t- talking trash to her uh, her friend. There's a complete jerk. Who won? Won the. Yeah, Juan's yeah, the worst. He is the worst. I'm surprised. Maybe he just thought he was going to become famous by being on the show, and that's why he played the villain a little bit more. Maybe. Guess there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> keep watching. I love this show. So are you going to keep watching it? I will. I Good. don't not watch it. I, I mean, I just, dude, depending on when we record, sometimes I just haven't had a chance to watch because I had so much crap going on. But It's just so good, though. So Well, this weekend, I think I'm going to go see Ant-Man and the Wasp at some point. Um, All right. You know, I was going to go see the first Purge, but I heard it's not very good. So are you watching any Netflix original movies? Original movies? Um, I watched The Setup a couple weeks ago. Yep, I saw The Setup. Um, I I just watched last week, and I watched the entire second season of Glow. Watch that at all? Nope, I didn't see that one. I I watched watched the one with um, Captain America. Who's the guy? Chris Evans? Yeah, I think that's him. He's the main character. It's kind of a love love movie. I don't know. It was okay. No, you know, it's funny. Those movies really are hit or miss, but I like the ones when you find them, you like it. I told you to watch one a while ago. I, I think it came out around Halloween called The Babysitter. I rewatched that again <laughs> the other night when I couldn't sleep. It's really funny. It's like I a don't com- think. It's like a comedy I mean, horror movie. I think we started it and I couldn't finish it because I thought it was too stupid. I do like the so. 10. So this is, it's called Playing It Cool. Did you ever see that one? No. You guys did like the, the when we first met. Yeah, right? we like so if, with Adam Levine. So okay, for you, Jesse, since you recommended those, yeah. I recommend you watch Playing It Cool. All right, text it over to me, and we'll give it a shot. All right, all right. All but right, I don't everybody. recommend it for everybody else. Okay, um, <laughs> I'll let you, you know if I liked it. Um, you, you you just recommend Doctor Pimple Popper for everybody. Right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. That's enough for the show. I love Remember, it. go to All our right. website at bringmirrortorch.com and listen to us You know, whenever <laughs> we feel like putting a podcast out, usually weekly, though the day seems to vary depending on what's happening with our lives. Um, and uh, after you listen to this podcast, please, I beg you, remember that you may have come here as a stranger, but you're leaving as a friend. We'll see you next time on Bring Me Your Torch. Bye. Bye.